Hey guys, Jeremy here today on Roblox, we're playing some more Pokemon Brick Bronze. As you can see on screen right now, today we're teaming up with Russo again. This time I'm going to be using the Rayquaza or Rayquaza, depending on how you pronounce it. And we're going up against Snivy701 and Dead A the Master Solon. We have one Greninja, which isn't good for me because I actually wanted to lead off, I wanted to go into the Executor, but I guess we could lead off with this, or should we completely not do this at all? Uh, probably, probably want the Wishy Washer. Although these guys are gonna have like Thunderball. The Mega Mawile is gonna actually be insane to try and take down. So I definitely need this. And then I guess the priority move for the Dragon. Um, then again, Wish Watcher could come in handy as well, but I think this will work. So I'm gonna. I guess it's like the exact same team, although I'm using Rayquaza instead of the Jurantina. And I'm using, I'm not using the Wish Watch, I'm using the Weavile. I guess I should have started off with the Weavile, but it's not a fake out set, so well. But here is the Ray Quaza and the Lugia. The freaking, my gosh, Ray is so, so huge. <laughs> I completely forgot that Ray Quaza is this big. It's completely bigger than freaking Lugia. Like, look at that, I can't even see the freaking Balloon. <laughs> I can't even see the Balloon, what the heck. Okay, then, um... I guess I'll Dragon Claw the uh, Salamence. Um, <laughs> okay, let's Dragon Claw the Salamence. It most likely gonna outspeed us 95 best speed to 100 plus. He's a Mega. Plus, on top of that, I have an Adamant Nature, not a Jolly Nature. So, yeah, that pretty much means I'm not gonna outspeed any of these guys. Unless they have an EV train, which I'll take it if they have an EV train. Although, because it's Mega, even if it is an EV train, I'm pretty sure he outspeeds me. He does, he's gonna Dragon Claw me. Oh no. He didn't even KO me. Okay, there's a Dragon Claw. Hopefully, Russo can take down the Breloom. And that did not even KO it. So that is great. I think, uh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Rip. <laughs> I got. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have laid off with the Rayquaza. That was definitely a bad idea. Definitely a bad idea. They are both physical attackers, though. So I guess I'll go into the Manetric and just take down the Salamance by Hidden Power and Ice It. Uh, that should be the Salmas down. Plus, he can, I think he has like a, a move to just take down the Breloom now, because it is four times weak to flying. Hopefully, we got a move like that. Because uh, in the Juntina battle, he had freaking fly and rock smash with ice beam and some other move that I completely forgot about. Rock smash, fly. It has ice beam, I know that much, but take down the Salmans, that's fine. We're just looking to go for the ice beam. I think he also went for the. Salamance, but that's fine. Oh, Focus Slash, that's fine though, because it has Focus Slash, but it's got Intimidated, and it gets frozen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Len, that is um, one way to go about that. But oh well, but I'm pretty sure this Salamance will last be the Lugia, so I might as well take him out for no damage at all. Tyrant is most likely going to go for a Stone Edge. Actually, the Bloom's going to die. Don't hit the Bloom. It'll die at the end of the turn. So there's no point in even attacking the Bloom, to be honest. Um, I What do I have left? The Weavile? I guess my best bet is to Thunderbolt the Tyranitar. I don't even have anything to really hit the Tyranitar, because Tyranitar is a Rock-type Pokemon, and in, in Sandstorm, Rock-type Pokemon get a 50% increase to their special defense. So, um... Yeah, that isn't that great. Thunderbolt, if it gets a Paralyze, that'll be amazing, but it's not going to do it too much. Can't mind, but the Balloon's going to go down low from the um, from that Stone Edge onto me. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's actually going to hit hard. Um, if that hits you, you'll, you'll probably faint. So yeah, we might want to take this time to out really quickly, because they're going to KO us both. Okay then, so into the Maul while the Maul is going to go for a Sucker Punch, most likely. Actually, probably going to go for a Sucker Punch onto the Maul while Uh, onto the Lugia, I mean. So I think I want to Flamethrower the Maul while just to try and take it down. That Maul... Um... Sure. Because the Surf, it's not going to hit me too hard, although it will take me down. But I might get out of Speds, because this is probably going to Sucker Punch. It's even going to hit me. So I can't do damage to any of them. Or we're gonna go for the Lugia straight away, which I don't think is that good of an idea. Oh, he has Surf. I forgot about he has Surf on Lugia. Okay, Flamethrower onto the Mawile. I'll speed everything, so that's fine. 
That's gonna take it down to one shot, pretty much, by anything I, I can use. And it gets burned. Okay, okay, man, Minetra, go take it easy. Surf gonna take down everything except for the Tyranitar. The Tyranitar is most likely going to Stone Edge. Uh, Stone Edge, is it gonna miss? Uh, Glutch. <laughs> okay, just tanks it, although it's got five hit points. You don't have loot, do you? Because if he has Roost, that might be a good idea to use it now. I can take down the Tyranitar, the Vaporeon low is vanilla. This is gonna be difficult. Oh no, if we got the um, the Roost, I'll try and Ice Will Crush the Tyranitar. I'll get Tyranitar. Because I can't really hit the Vaporeon too much. Um, might just want to attack the Vaporeon. I don't know what your last move is. Hopefully not Surf, because that's going to hit me. Get Aero Oh, okay, that's going to hit hard. Yeah, that's going to hit hard. That's actually really, really good. Completely forgot about the Aero Blast. Because obviously, I don't want him to use the Ice Beam, because it's resisted. I don't want him to use like, Surf, because it's going to heal, and it's going to damage me, so that's not exactly that great either. That's fine. I guess I could probably Swords Dance now against this guy's team, because I don't know if this guy's got a Pokemon left, because he had a Tarantar. The Salamance. It's most like that's one left one. This isn't gonna go too well with the Gengar. I outspeed the Gengar, so that's okay. Although, can I one hit KO it? I'm not gonna hit it very much, am I? Okay. Um, good. I completely forgot about these first from that, but anyway, let's go crush the Gengar. Because the Gengar is gonna hit the Flawgis. Unless I flinch it, which would be amazing. Shadow Ball onto me? No, until the floor just... No Sludge Bomb, that's fine. I was actually thinking he was going to Sludge Bomb. He's going to Moonblast the Vaporeon, which... Close to taking it down. Good enough, low, because we also can just KO it next turn. I'll take that, take out the Gengar now, which would be great. Actually, the Vaporeon's dead the, from the um, Sandstorm. Oh, will it? Does it even get affected by that? Okay, it does. Okay, Vaporeon is down. A... Okay, let's do, let's do another... I'm going to do another one then for the Rake Waza. And I guess I'll just Ice Shard this one. So then, that... I don't think I should lead with Rake. <laughs> it gets destroyed too quickly, unfortunately. That's fine, taking down the Gengar for that. But might as well save the Rake Closet I sweep up the rest of the Pokemon, rather than leading with it. Killing, so I guess we'll try and do that. What else actually do I have in my team that can help me with this? I probably have something in my team that I can use. But yeah, no, I'll be back in a second for the next battle. Okay, and now we are back then for the second battle. Now we are going up against Totodile Swag and Jazz Smoothie. So, interesting name. Um, got quite a few Pokemon that have ice. So, I think I should lead off with this. Except for Stealth Rocks, because this guy has a, quite a few Pokemon that are going to just annihilate everything. And then, most likely, going to lead. Start off with. Go with the loss of the Rayquaza. Okay, let's see. Russo, is it saying anything? Okay, I'm gonna. T I guess I'll take this again because that's gonna be great against a lot. Pretty much everything against this team. Against this one, though. Hidden Power Eye. Actually, yeah, this, this is a really good team. I'm gonna set up Spell Rocks first turn. Um, hopefully, they both go after me because that Earthquake is gonna hit hard. Actually, he might Shadow Sneak me, and then if he goes into like a Aqua Jet, his Aqua Jetter, that's gonna really, really suck. But the Crobat most likely has Defog as well, which kind of makes me wish I had the Juntina right now. So he, oh no, wait, Defog doesn't. No, De no, I'm thinking about Rapid Spin. Ooh, Nine Tails and a Porygon too. That's actually really, really good because obviously I get to go for a Stealth Rocks instantly. Could fight find the Nine Tails as well, but Stealth Rocks get these, get these up. So as he does damage. And the dogs are barking. No! <laughs> the the barking are probably not there, which is always good. Killing. So I'm gonna stealth rock the first turn. Um, okay, someone else has met, probably messaged me as well, so it's kind of throwing me off. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop stealth rocks. So the most likely I have like a good amount of flying type Pokemon. He's gonna fairy dance the nine tails. It's gonna one hit KO it. Not EV train. That's 109 base speed. It should have outsped the Volcarona. But it didn't. That's fine, but Fury Dance did damage. I didn't know it did recall damage, I don't think it did. I don't know what it even has to do that, but oh well. Garchomp is going to come out now. 
I guess I will Stone Edge Laporium too. Hey, you wanna show up here? Please? I, I guess I'll take it as a no. Okay, understandable. Perfect, yeah. I guess we'll stone edge the program too. I'm gonna stone edge the P2. Okay, the program 2. It is fairly very, very tanky. It's probably got an heavy light on it. Don't have a knockoff right now though, unfortunately. Um, earthquake, that's gonna hit everything, including me down to one hit point. I'm okay with that though. I could firefang the Garchomp for the potential burn chance. Oh wait, he recovered. So that's okay, I think. If it, wait, it's gonna probably Iron Head the Flodger, so I could go into the Rayquaza, but not against the Porygon 2. Uh, let's go for another Stone Edge. If I can get a critical hit against the Porygon 2, that would be amazing. Plus, if the Garchomp goes down to one shot, it's not Life Orb set, so that leads me to believe it is a Garchomp might be running Focus Sash. Because it's not got a Life Orb. Gonna withdraw predicted that land into the Aegis Slash. I do have Fire Fang, although. Um, he's probably gonna Shadow Sneak me. Hey, you got a critical hit. A lot back to back, I don't even know. But yeah, Gashon's gonna withdraw, so. Actually, it has a leftovers, I think, because it took damage from the Stealth Rocks. Never mind, I think it has leftovers. It might have leftovers, which is a weird move, I know, but Fire Fang the Edge Slash most likely gonna. I ain't had the floor just or Shadow Sneak me. Which one is it gonna do? Protect? That's fine. Hopefully the Edge Slash doesn't go for me. Chance change is gonna Shadow Sneak. Yep, onto me. Ripperone, Pepperone. Okay, then. That is kind of fine. I'm gonna recover on the Porygon 2. The Porygon 2 has Ice Beam low, which is a problem, so I can't go into the Rayquaza yet. Um, let's target the P2. Because it most likely has Ice Beam, which is gonna hit my Rayquaza really, really hard. Plus, I don't really want that, so let's get that Mega for the Intimidate onto that. And I guess we'll Thunderbolt the Porygon 2. That should be fine. He might Shadow Sneak me again, but the Intimidate is going to be okay. We've been taking on the Porygon 2 because it is very, very tanky. We need to take it down to go slow my Rayquaza doesn't get hit very hard. Plus the Lugia doesn't get hit very hard with the Ice Beam. Plus it has Tri Attack most likely as well, which has a chance to burn, paralyze, or poison? Something like that. I'm going to King Shield kind of predicted that, so that's fine. So let's just target up. Let's just move our aim over to the Porygon 2 because it's super tanker. Pretty sure I can just use like physical moves on it a lot better than special attacks, but yeah. Toxic is going to go on to me. That's an interesting shout, actually. I guess that's okay. Um, Beage Slash could get KO'd this turn, I guess, potentially. Uh, but yeah, I want to take down the Porygon 2. The Porygon 2 is going to... Um, he's gonna recover this turn. So I think I want to actually put Flamethrower the Aegis Slash. Hopefully he goes for like a Shadow Sneak. Because he's gonna recover, so gonna, our damage isn't gonna even do anything, unfortunately. So if we hit the Aegis Slash, we... Uh, yes. If he wishes and protects the next turn, which I don't actually think he actually needs that. Flamethrower the Aegis Slash, hopefully go for another burn. So that'd be really nice. Oh, so close. Okay, the Flawless Slash speeds the Aegis Slash, what? Gonna Swords Dance, okay. Um, that is fine, I guess. Gonna recover on the Porygon 2. Okay, then. Um, let me think about this. Let me think about this really quickly. He's gonna King Shield again, most likely, so I think I should... Should I just Flame Throw the Aegis Slash just in case? That's gonna hit like a truck anyway. I guess. Um, you might want to protect. He might hit you hard. Because if you can get Russo's Flodges back up to like full hit points, that'll be great. Okay, that's good. Shadow Sneak onto the Flodges. Okay, never mind. It tanked it. I guess I underestimated the Flodges' tankiness or the physical defense. Just take on the edge slash low. Just really, really nice right there. Plus, if, if my um, Rayquaza comes down and it gets down to one hit points from the Porygon 2, then they can just Shadow Sneak me, which obviously they don't want. Hopefully the... Um, okay, I'm gonna live. Come on, send out the Garchomp again. Send out the Garchomp, you're gonna probably go for like an Earthquake, which actually would be really, really good. Garchomp, yes, I got Gar. Okay, I can get the Garchomp easily. Hidden Power, Ice it. 
because I can one-hit KO it. Flaw just might KO it, but if I go for the program to the gacha, I'm most likely gonna outspeed the Flaw just and just go for an earthquake, just destroy everything. So Flaw just might honestly just want to go for like another Cal Mines. Um, maybe Cal Mines again. I feel like if he comes mind a few more times, we can't really hit the Porygon too hard. So, so we need to like get more Cal Mines so we can hit it harder. So he's most likely going to go for a Toxic onto the floor just, which is fine. Just putting this timer on it is completely fine. The Stealth Rocks is still up, so that is, again, good. I'm going to go down from the Poison low. So now, um, okay, so Porygon 2. Whatever this guy's Pokemon is, that's going to be difficult to try and come up against. So yeah, Rayquaza is going to come back on screen. Can't see what this guy's going to have until... Oh, actually, it's Rao. Okay. Um, set up one more time. Okay, let's set up one more time. Dragon Dance. We want to make sure that we actually one-hit kill this thing in one move, so we can't do that. That's fine. Uh, well, I, I guess that's okay as well, because it might hit really good. Ice Beam onto me. If it freezes, that's going to really, really suck. Yeah, there's a Focus Slash being activated. Don't freeze me. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> um, he's going to... Can I just... Okay, let me think about this really quickly. Okay. Uh, moon Blast again. Because he has speeds, it's like a 2 hit KO it now. Guess I'll, um... Dragon Claw again. Hopefully I far out instantly. Because it's frozen solid. Nope. Rip. Rip! <laughs> no, I got frozen? Are you kidding me? Okay, that's fine. Try attack is gonna go on to me. Okay, I can't... can't Flodges, or oh, Russo, I guess. You you can ta you can do this, okay? You can do this. Moon Blast can KO. Noise. Okay, it picked the right move. Just to KO Porygon 2, so it can move on. Your Poison, though. What do we... I think he has... Do you have left? I think Russo has all of his team left, actually. Um, Lu oh, just, just Lugia? Okay, then. Um... Lugus might want to swap. Just going to save, because that's going to hit and probably KO you in one hit. So yeah, unless he predicts that, but he might go for a Defog as well. He has, probably has like Defog, Poison Jab, or whatever, Poison Bang, which is going to hit hard. Lugia doesn't, yeah, Cross Poison, that's the move. Okay, he's not going to Poison, so that's good. Um, he has Ice Beam, he has Calm Mind. Mm, okay, he's going to U-turn. Magnezone? Probably the Magnezone. Azumarill, okay. We have Aeroblast for that, I guess. Cow Mines. I guess... Aeroblast? I'm not really sure what to do against an Az Azumarill. Because Russo, I think, has Ice Beam, Surf, and Aeroblast. Which, um... Obviously, Aeroblast are going to do the most amount of damage. It is enough to one-hit kill with a critical hit. Clutch! <laughs> Get the clutch! Okay, Crobat. Um, I'm pretty sure you know what to do against this. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping he's going to Ice Beam. Unless he doesn't have Ice Beam, because he might have out for Roost now. Oh no. Rip. That's fine. If he just gets one Ice Beam off, he wins, so completely fine. I don't know if it'll one-hit KO it, though. That's like the only problem I don't know. That Braver did a lot. Hopefully it just doesn't hit itself in Confusion right now, because that is that GG right there. Ice Beam, please one-hit KO it. Come on, just do it. Noise. <laughs> oh, that freeze. <laughs> okay, that was uh, really, really good. I'm not sure if we're going to do another one, though. Okay. You want to leave it off there? Let's see if he wants to leave it off there, or if he, or if he wants to do another one, because I'm just down for as many as, I, as many as he wants, to be honest. So let's see. Okay, is he going to want to leave it off there? I think he's doing the outro to his video, most likely. Wait, oh, he's... Okay, so I think we'll leave it off there, so there we go. So, we'll leave it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Apart from the freeze. <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, we're gonna leave it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Russo's channel link will be down in the description down below. So if you want to check him out, feel free to do that. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, that that freeze acts at the last minute. The Rayquaza not really doing too much compared to the Durantina. The Durantina did a lot more. But again, in double battles, most people are in like Blizzard sets or like a lot of Pokemon with Ice Beam on them. Plus, I have shown off the uh, Rayquaza and Durantina duo qu like quite a lot recently, so that could also be a reason. Plus, if Russo's was in the Lugia, it's like free Pokemon Week to Ice. That's really, really good show. Good if I didn't bring out the little Executor because that would have not gone well at all. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and like always, I'll see you guys next time.